Has Richie D moved in yet? Yes, Richie D has moved in, and it's a huge mess. He has over 500 videotapes in that room, and he hasn't paid his rent yet. I do believe he is homeless and heartless. Isabel is going to have a devil of a job trying to clean up the bloody mess. Maybe I can help her, and maybe I can help Richie D get a job. Where's Julie Hink? Ah, yes, Julie Hink. She bought a cute little dog and named him Bailey. And then she got that part as the octopus girl. She was in Hawaii for a whole month of filming, completely underwater. And she took Bailey with her. <laughs> Ooh, I want to be an octopus girl. <laughs> and live in Hawaii. Where's Ashley? Oh, that remains to be seen. I do believe he's taken off for the Bahamas. I'm waiting for his phone call so that I can cancel his library card. <laughs> Richie D. I told you I was going to rent out this room, and now Daniel is here from Bolivia and wants to move his stuff in. Yes, but Tiffany told me you didn't want to be alone, so I thought I could just move in. No. I told Tiffany you could stay here for a few days until I rented out the room to someone who could pay more rent. Look at this bloody mess! Why in the world did you bring all of your videotapes? There has to be hundreds of them. Only 550? Oh, Daniel, I am so sorry. That Richie D has so much stuff to move out of there. Stop, yeah, no problem. I gotta help him. I gotta move right now. You gotta go bye bye like this, bye bye. Could you drive me to my storage space and we'll put everything in there? Okay, let's go. Come on. Are you sure? Richie D is very self-sufficient. He can take the bus. Me take the bus? Not when I have a nice guy like Daniel here to drive me there. <laughs> and I'll be out of your hair now, too. Hmm. I find that hard to believe. No, 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 Is Mino a meanie? I mean, is Mino mean? Say something to her. Meowy. Meowy, meowy, meowy. Meowy, meowy, kitty. Oh, meowy, meowy, meowy. Meowy, meowy, meowy. Meowy, meowy, meowy. Oh, little meowy cat. Meowy, meowy, meowy. How long can I stay? You guys might have to stay here. Well, you can stay for six months if you like. Well, I only have uh, rent for three months. I was sent here to sell 500 beautiful Bolivian rocking chairs. They're all in the storage in Loma Linda. Is it far from here? 500 Bolivian rocking chairs? 
Are you going to bring them all here? No, no. I'm just going to go get one, bring here tomorrow. Leave the rest in the storage. My employer sent me here for only for three months so I can sell them right away. I'm a very young man. I plan to make a lot and lots of money. Just look at this beautiful house on Atlas. I built it myself. Oh, yes, very nice. Well, let's get you unpacked tonight, and we'll deal with everything else tomorrow. Isabel will come by and clean your room, and it will be in better condition. Sweet dreams. Try the washing machine. See if it will do the dishes. Oh, oh Daniel has gone to Loma Linda to get his rocking chairs, and Mrs. Phoebes has gone to her art dealer to uh, try to sell her paintings. Uh. So the house is deserted. I have the whole house to myself. And I can do as I please. Someone who knows a lot about computers. I was a programmer for years. Then I had a stroke. Now I'm just crazy, cousin Garl. <laughs> this is Mrs. Phipps with a P. Penelope Phipps from the Boston Public Library. And your library card is about to be cancelled. She must be talking to Ashley Montague the Fifth. She always calls him and threatens to cancel his library card when she hasn't seen him. Or enough of him. <laughs> oh, Ashley, not another Cupid Vows manufacturing convention. Where is it this time? In the Bahamas. Yes, you see, I had to go there because of that black Cupid vase that I designed. You know, the one with the wings that has the water coming out of it? A black Cupid? Vase with wings? Yes, of course, except it doesn't have electricity or batteries. The water comes directly out of the wings. Oh, only you could think of something like that. Uh, what is it used to operate? Centrifugal force? Oh, exactly, yes, it's because of the centrifugal force. What a cute, wonderful little smart kitten you are. Ah, I see. Well, how long are you going to be gone this time? About two weeks, yes. Two weeks? There's no need for you to uh, cancel my library card whatsoever. Uh, all right then, call me when you get back. What are you two naughty boys up to? Uh, Carol was showing you something me from your computer. He did some sort of defrag and... But my computer is perfect. The best in the west, east, north and south. It does not need de-shagging. <laughs> I love 
Where did you get these? We have to assemble them. I've been telling everyone that they come already assembled. I keep telling you, you have to let the glue dry first. Oops. Oops. Oh dear. Here comes Tiffany. Oh, what a lovely rocking chair. Can I get a matching pair? Oh, Tiffany, now you've done it. Are you all right? Daniel, pick this up immediately. You have to let the glue dry first. So worth a fortune. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't get no ideas. Mrs. Phillips has been very nice to you and helped you in many ways. Do oh, you understand? Huh? That old bag. Shelly helps herself. Look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful handmade, que lindo. Did you come all this way to sell rocking chairs? They're so nice. Yeah, and so far I sold one. And tomorrow I'm going to the furniture store and see what happens. Richie D, have you tried the appetizers yet? Mmm, they are good. <laughs> and I did polish the silverware. <laughs> oh, yes. And you can see your face in the spoons. Only the best for Mrs. Phipps. You know, I don't believe these chairs are from Bolivia. They look like something you buy at Walmart that cost too much. Where do these come from? Food's good here. I eat it. Hey, do you have time? Do you have time? Time. How long does it take to put one of them things together? One for Ligan, beautiful wood. Uh, give you a matching pen, no problem. A beautiful, beautiful living wood. What do you think? I give you uh, 500 of these babies here. But maybe 500. Well, I want to buy all 500 of them. How much will that cost? Well, this beautiful. Bolivian wood rocking chairs here. I'll give it to just for you because you're special friend. I give you a five thousand dollars because you're a good American cowboy. You no problem. Duh. You got it. Thank you very much, my friend. Very good check. I love it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you for coming. Good night. Thank you all for coming. Yes, and don't forget to place lots of orders for Bolivian rocking chairs so Daniel can stay here. Oh, Good night. What a party. Uh, I'm so glad I polished your silverware. Oh. <laughs> See ya. Oh, well, thank you, Richie, for all your help. Thank you, Richie. Good night. Good night. They will not send me any more money. Now I have to go back to Montreal, get money from mom and dad, so I can go to Bolivia. So you're leaving? I have to sell one rocking chair. Why won't your employer send you any more money? I thought you had sold all 500 of those rocking chairs. That cowboy, that, that, that you know, uh, the, the check bounced. But. 
Can I please have my deposit back? <laughs> of course. But isn't this all rather sudden? I don't know what to do. You can have all the Bolivian shit if you like. Oh, and rock myself into oblivion. <laughs>